You read it right. I know a bricklayer who now owns a Ferrari. The world has changed. Covid has caused a massive restriction in the supply chain. The costs of many goods and services are going up and up and up due to a lack of supply. And I wanted to share with you how that could hurt you, but also how that could benefit you uh, and give you access to some solutions around that. So bricklayers have gone from a couple of hundred pounds a day to 500 pounds a day. Lamborghini made the most profit they've ever made in the year in the lockdown. Suppliers have got a lack of supply from their suppliers, so they're banging their prices up. I know someone who runs a pallet business who's put his prices up 50%. So there's two ways of looking at this. Number one is the costs of goods and services, like food. Food has gone up quite a lot as well. Gas has just gone up quite a lot from Russia. (laughs) That's gonna affect us all. So if you look at it from the negative, your cost of living, cost of goods and services is going up, 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 up. But as long as you move your money around and don't spend it on depreciating liabilities that you don't need and you spend it carefully, it shouldn't affect you because not all products and services have gone up and up and up and up. But I want to focus on the solution if you don't mind. So imagine you're a bricklayer and you normally lay bricks for 200 a day or less, 150 a day, whatever it was. And now all of a sudden you are in demand. And now you can lay bricks. Yes, there are bricklayers laying bricks at 500 a day. And I know a bricklayer. Well, he's a bricklayer, but he has a bricklaying company. He now drives a freaking Ferrari. He's absolutely smashing it. Why? Because there's a massive demand for bricklayers and a big undersupply of them. So... What you can learn from this is if you can increase the demand for your products and services and or if there's a reduction in supply, so your competitors or your suppliers, the law of supply and demand states that the higher the demand, the higher the price, the lower the supply, the higher the price usually. So I'm trying to be, well, I am pro-capitalism and I'm definitely helping people who follow me like you get the best out of a difficult situation through covid And with capitalism, capitalism, there's, of course, supply and demand. There's downside and upside. So where one business struggles through lockdown, another one thrives through lockdown, depending on the business model. And you can either sit there and go, ah, my business, my life, it's really hard right now, it's crazy. Or you can go, where's the opportunity? So the opportunity is in you increasing demand, maybe you reducing supply, Uh, Maybe you increasing your prices, maybe you looking at premium. So if you have premium products and services like Lamborghini, Lamborghini made their best profit ever because they are a premium product. I have a Lamborghini Aventador, I reversed it out of my garage, I smashed the wing mirror. Uh, Three and a half grand, haven't been able to get one for nearly four months because there is no supply, there's no production and that just bangs the prices right up. So yeah, interesting times. Uh, Now, um, I have an event coming up soon, which I think can help you with this kind of concept of increasing um, demand for your products and services. And, And also, by the way, we're seeing this in recruitment. So basically, because there's a lack of movement of employees between companies compared to normal, there's therefore a demand for employees and a lower supply of employees. Therefore, salaries have gone up. So if you're an employee, then you can maybe look at, um, you know, adding extra value, being indispensable and therefore increasing your salaries way over, um, you know, the rate of inflation. So this is the world we're in right now. But I will just say one thing. If you're getting hit hard and hurt by lack of supply from suppliers and increase in in prices from suppliers, we are in our developments, by the way. Um, You know, the cost of pretty much all of the materials, you know, the plaster, Um, It's just gone crazy. I've never seen prices go up 20, 30, 40, 50% in one hit. So it's hurting us in the one way, but you have to make a way, a provision to find out how it can help you in the other way. Because capitalism has that balance of of supply and demand, production and consumption. You know, and everyone who supplies has a supplier. So you supply and have a supplier. So um, I wanted to tell you about it because it's a crazy situation I've never, never really seen before. But also wanted to get you thinking in solutions. And one of the ways I can help you do that is I have a special event coming up in about a week and it's called the Recurring Income Summit. So one of the ways to get around increasing costs to you, either from suppliers or food or you know general sustenance of, of living, 
One of the ways to combat that, to negate it, is to have assets that produce recurring, ongoing income. Weirdly, in these times of COVID and strange disruption, property prices went up and up and up, and most people wouldn't have predicted that. Why did property prices go up and up and up? Lack of supply. The property market com completely closed. Lockdown shut down all estate agents. Properties weren't being exchanged anymore. Lack of supply, increase of demand, increase of price. Can't believe I'm out of breath from, from walking, but this really fascinates me. It's a, like a live economics, capitalism and wealth building case study since the start of lockdown. So building assets combats increasing prices because usually when you get this supply and demand like one-off craziness, asset prices go up even when you think they're going to go down. So if asset prices go up, you obviously have more equity. You could probably put your rents up. Uh, and if you have recurring income every month, you're not relying on earned income and you won't be at the wrong end of the supply and demand equation. So if you go, I'm going to send you a link here. If you go right now to robmore.live forward slash summit, I've just put the link in the comments there. I have a special two day event coming up in about a week. It's live streamed on Zoom. So anyone in the world who follows me can join. It is limited to 500 people max. I have 160,000 people, 160,747 last time I looked, who follow me and watch my videos. When my lives are finished, the views go up and up and up and up. So if you're watching this right now, make sure you go and grab a ticket to the Recurring Income Summit. Um, on, the, on the link there, which is robmore.live forward slash summit. Here's what I'm going to do. If you're quick and do it before I end this video, then I am going to give you a free ticket. I'm also going to sponsor the ticket fee from my Robmore Foundation. So I'll donate to the Robmore Foundation the cost of your ticket. So you can help me help young and underprivileged people start meaningful businesses that change the world. Uh, and then also what I'll do is I'll upgrade you to premium completely for free as well. I'm doing this because it's our 15th anniversary of my training company's Progressive Property. I believe the Recurring Income Summit can really help you. My overheads are much lower on a Zoom event. Obviously, I don't have the hotels, the venues, the, um, the food, the, you know, the, the events team. It's done on Zoom, so I can pass basically the saving on to you. But if you'd like to build assets that produce recurring income, if you'd like to create multiple streams of income, if you'd like to protect yourself and negate the increasing cost to you of living, if you would like to know the 18 different asset classes that produce recurring passive and residual income, and you'd like to learn from a billionaire, someone who's worth nearly 600 million, um, I've got the, the former CEO of BMW Porsche and Lamborghini. Lamborghini made their biggest profits in, in the lockdown year. So I've got some amazing speakers. I'm going to share with you the recurring income systems and models for scaling and sustaining um, and how to build assets that produce recurring income so that you're not reliant on earned income or working or having to do overtime or disruptions or COVID that could hurt your business. If you have assets and they produce recurring income that pay your overheads and pay your disposable income, that is unbreakable. That in income just keeps coming over and over and over in a recurring fashion, no matter what happens in the economy. So crazy times. I have never heard a bricklayer driving a Ferrari, but um, we know a bricklayer, he's got a bricklaying firm, but you know, started as a bricklayer just got a Ferrari living the dream because <laughs> he's on the upside of the supply demand strange universe that we're in right now and you can too join the recurring income summit uh, and maybe your business could not just survive but thrive through these challenging times and if you think lockdown is over you need to wake up I just have to be honest with you there lockdown is not over now we might not go into another lockdown or we might but the taxes and the drawing back of the billions that have been spent or wasted you know on this um on this COVID and on this lockdown and on the furlough and on all these things, that could be a 10 year grab on you. So this might just be the start. You need to be ready. Title wasn't clickbait, right? Because I know a bricklayer who's now just bought a Ferrari and driving around in a Ferrari because bricklaying has gone up from 200 to 500 a day, pretty much in our area through lockdown, not clickbait at all. That's a fact. Um, so yeah, thanks for following me, everyone. You're all legends. If you enjoy my content, by the way, hit the uh, share button um, because I'm on a mission to help as many people on this planet start and scale their business and get better financial education. Um, I am making waves into this planet and helping now hundreds of thousands, maybe even millions of people, but I need your help to help me. So if you think I create good content and get you thinking and challenging you, you know, I'd rather I pissed you off at the start and got in your head and 
But then you thought, yeah, Rob actually challenged my thinking. That's the kind of reaction I'm, I'm looking for. Because if you just agree with everything I say or disagree with everything I say, you don't really learn anything. So if you do enjoy any of my content, make sure you hit the share button. Do it right now. Um, and yeah, um, the Recurring Income Summit, I'm actually donating a ticket to you. James James has asked, how much does the Recurring Income Summit cost? Um, I don't know what the usual ticket price is. It'll be on the page. Um, but I will charge for this event. There will be paid ticket holders. I don't like doing free events. I have done before. I don't like doing free events because if you pay, you pay attention and free advice is worth every penny. Um, but it's our 15th year. Um, there's lots of you that follow me that haven't necessarily been to any of my events or, or experienced our experience of what we can teach you about starting and scaling a business and getting recurring income and building assets and creating multiple streams of income. That's what I'm all about. Um, so if you go to robmore.live forward slash summit, um, you can grab um, your ticket right there uh, and I'll subsidize you and I'll upgrade you to premium. Maximum 500 on the Zoom. It's a Zoom mastermind, not like a recorded webinar. I'll be on there live. I think I've bagged a billionaire. I've interviewed now 15 billionaires. I'm interviewing my 16th one next week. Um, yeah, <laughs> Fred has said bricklayers driving Ferraris, the 70s all over again. It's funny how the world goes around in cycles. Supply, demand, supply, demand, supply, demand, supply, demand. And fascinating economics case study. But the reason I wanted to do this video with you, in addition to giving you the gift of the Recurring Income Summit, is to show you that if you're on the receiving end of the increase in prices, you can also be on the giving end of the increase in prices. Now, you know, if your suppliers have put the price up on you, you need to put your, your prices up. And that's just a, a, an economic fact. Otherwise, your profit margins are getting eroded. And I reckon now between 5 and 10% a year, you have to put your prices up every year. If you don't, inflation, quantitative easing, just ruining your margins. Um, Rolex put up their prices 5, 10% plus a year. Lambo, they just released the um, Countach, Countach, uh, uh, revisit 1.6 million, sell them all. Made their most profit in the lockdown. So think about premium products and services for your offer. Think about increasing your prices. Think about reversing the supply demand in your favor. And I can teach you all of that on the Recurring Income Summit. Will's right, it's not only bricklayers, it's anyone in construction. Uh, it's basically most of the supply chain now. Um, so yeah, you know, lorry drivers, they're so hard to find. So definitely interesting times. So go to robmore.life forward slash summit, grab your tickets, grab them while they're free, grab them while you can get on. The event's in about six days time. It's live streamed on Zoom. It's live. Uh, and remember this, if you don't risk anything, you risk everything. Go to robmore.life forward slash summit. Uh, and if you think my content is useful, please hit the share button because I really appreciate you and I want to get these messages out to the masses. There's not enough financial education out there. There's a lot of negativity around earning money. Um, there's a lot of guilt and shame and fear and taboo-ness of talking about money. What's wrong with making a good living and helping other people along the way? You have a good company, you make a good living, you make fair profit, you employ lots of people, you pay lots of taxes, you receive and give equally. What the fuck's wrong with that? And there's too many people who've got a really negative attitude towards money and the rich and I want to change that and give actual facts or at least a balanced view of capitalism and the wealthy because you can be wealthy if you really want to. Appreciate you all. Remember, if you don't risk anything, you risk everything.